Hey there, this is Herb Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel, and today we're going to show you how to solve a problem that anyone who does a lot of 3D printing will face, and that is their printer nozzle gets jammed. You go to create a print, you send it to the printer, you select print from the print menu or from your computer, and nothing happens. The printer moves, no filament is extruded. You look at the extruder, and you see that it's turning, but the filament's not moving. Let's show you today an easy way to solve that problem. Okay, hold on. Let's learn something together. Okay, to get started with this technique, um, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a diagonal cutter, and you're going to need to buy one specialty product, and these are 0.4 millimeter needles. Um, I purchased a package of these. It looks like there are about 10 of these in here. It also included a tweezers, which I have not really used yet. I only use the needles. I purchased these at Amazon for $12. Um, there are a variety of brands. Reptor is the one I'm using here. I haven't tried other brands, but this one had very good reviews. These needles are the key to making this easy. You don't need cleaning filament. You're not going to have to take your nozzle off. You're not going to have to disassemble your whole printer. This is going to make it easy. So let's zoom in on the printer. We're going to use the Mini Select from Monoprice as our example printer. The same technique works with any printer, specifically any Bowden style printer. For a direct drive printer, it's slightly different, but the concepts are the same. So let's zoom in and look at how I clean my printer nozzles. As the first step of this process, we need to turn on our printer and select preheat. The mechanism for doing that will be different on each printer, but in general, every printer will have a way to preheat. I like to preheat the hot end to about 20 degrees centigrade, hotter than I normally would use for printing. So if I print this PLA filament to 200 C, I'll set my hot end right now to 220. So we're gonna crank it up to about 220. And now we need to wait for that to come up to temperature. Now that the printer is up to temperature, we need to remove the existing filament. In the case of a Bowden style printer, you generally depress the extruder and pull the filament out. Now, before continuing, we're going to need a piece of filament. So what I'm going to do here is cut off at an angle one piece of filament that we're going to use as a tool that will be critical for what we're doing in a moment. The next step, and the printer needs to remain at temperature for this, is we need to remove the Bowden tube. So you press down on the coupler, the colored plastic part of the coupler, and you pull the tube out. Now, what we can try next is to see if we can do this with only our filament tool. If the clog is not too bad, we can take a piece of filament, put it directly into the nozzle, and because you're directly in the nozzle, you can apply quite a bit more pressure than your extruder will apply. And if it works, your filament will come out directly there. However, at times, the nozzle is too jammed for that to work. And in that case, I take one of the filament needles, I put it in from the top initially, and you need to do this carefully, and then I push it down through the extruder until you see the actual needle come out. And I'll do that a number of times to make sure that it is relatively clear. I might twist it around a little bit, but I really work it up and down a little bit to make sure I can see the needle and it is clear. Then, I will take my filament tool. If necessary, I'll cut it off on an angle again. And I will press that down from the top. Now, if your filament is on an angle because of the angle of the reel, it won't go in easily. You may have to straighten that back out a little bit. 
And you also want to make sure that you have a nice angle on there to get it started. So let's try this again. And we can press hard. You can see you're getting a nice bit of filament out because I'm putting a lot more pressure than an extruder normally would. You can then pull our filament off. What I highly recommend you never do is attempt to use a diagonal cutter to cut a blob off the bottom of your brass um, filament nozzle. Okay, to recap, the key steps for me are, number one, set your filament nozzle to about 20 degrees Celsius, hotter than you would normally extrude at. Number two, remove the existing filament. Number three, remove the Bowden tube by pressing down on the coupler. Afterwards, you'll have to replace the Bowden tube. Then cut a segment, a piece of filament, and using that piece of filament as a tool, take and press the filament into the top of the hot end. You'll be able to put a lot more pressure than an extruder would. See if that clears the clog. If not, use one of your needles that you buy inexpensively, and you should have these around at all time, to clear the clog. Then come back with your filament tool. And once you're all done, reassemble your Bowden tube, reassemble your printer, and you're ready to go. Okay, folks, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. More importantly, share this with other people so other people will know about these tips and techniques. This is Irv Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel. Have a great day, and let's continue to learn things together.